My name is Carlo and welcome to Admon TV. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about perhaps the most frustrating thing about maintaining your lawn and that is how to load line into your whipper snipper head. Now you can identify which line you may have to use in your line trimmer by what your line trimmer looks like. You may have in your shed a bench shaft line trimmer, which is bench shaft, or a straight shaft brush cutter, which is obviously straight. This will identify what size line you need to use in your nylon line head. With your bench shaft line trimmer, it is recommended to use two mil line. And the way you identify is normally that the line is green and it will obviously say on the pack two mil. Okay, so now we'll show you how to load this head. What I like to do with the bench shaft uh, line trimmer is to get the head off the unit itself and work with it in your hands. The way you do that is to undo the bump knob which is right here and the way you do that is to just unscrew it like this and then you have the bump knob in your hand. There is a spring in here which is part of the bump mechanism to extend the line out when needed. That will tend to want to spring out but don't lose that because it's very important in the mechanism of the nylon head. From here we take the head off the machine. Okay, so from your packet, you grab out of here four meters worth of line. And the way I do that is grab the end of the line which is on the pack itself right here, hold the pack to the middle and just go four arm lengths. And these are roughly four meters. From here, You cut that line in half. So you'll have two two meter pieces in your hand, just like that. Now this nylon line head is an automatic reloading, okay? So once we have taken it off the uh, your machine, on the head itself are four arrows, both on the spool, which is this, and the outside of the nylon line head itself. What you need to do is line up all the outside arrows with each other. And the reason why is on the spool, the arrow lines up with these holes inside the spool itself. Once we have lined up all the arrows, you grab one end of your nylon line, as so, and Feed it through the eyelet like so. And if you have lined up the arrows correctly, the line on line will go directly into that hole inside the head itself, which that one has. And then you get the other line that you've cut. And on this eyelet, you do the same thing as is done on the other side. So the arrows have lined up and we put the hole, the cord inside the eyelet itself and that has now been fed. From here, on top of your spool, there's an arrow on each side of the spool showing you which way to know, lie the nylon line into that spool. So, because it's a automatic loading and no manual loading, all we do is follow the arrows and the nylon line will automatically load the spool internally. You keep loading the head until such time where you have the correct length where that sits on your machine here to the end of the guard. It's still a little bit long so we'll rotate one more time. Now we have the correct length. So what you do from here is put it back onto your machine, grab the bump knob and wind it back on. And we're back in town. Now I'm going to show you how to reload the line on line on your straight shaft brush cutter. Remembering your straight shaft takes 2.4mm line, 
which is orange in colour. So with the straight shaft we need to take the cap off so we can get to the inner spool and you do this like so. You press on one tab on this side and the other tab on the other side. Take the spool out. On the bottom of the spool there's a spring. Don't lose that because it's very important in the bumping to take the cord out of the head itself. From your packet, grab three metres worth of line and cut in half. I prepared for some earlier. In the spool, there are two holes which you see on each side of the spool itself. Now we're going to put one end of the line into one side of the spool, like so, and the other end of the line on the other side of the spool, like so, and you can see it just like that. Then on the bottom of the spool, he's telling you to wind the cord on itself and wind in the direction of the arrow. Simple as that. Now, you can choose to do one each side at one at a time, or you can pull two together, as I'm doing right now. And you just go round and round on the spool itself. And then from here, which is roughly where the head sits in the machine itself and to the edge of the guard, about that length there. So the core doesn't unwind on ourselves, what we do is, there's a little lock mechanism you could call it, at, on the end of the spool. We put one on this side and one on the opposite side like that. Now don't worry that I've crossed over, it's only there so it doesn't unwind, otherwise we've got to start this process all over again. Once we've done this, turn your whipper slipper around and put the spool inside the head itself. Now I normally line up where I've locked in on the spool with the eyelets, so it's simple to take off the locks and put it straight through the eyelet itself. Just like so. Take it off the lock and into the eyelet and same with the other side. Off the lock and into the eyelet. Just hold the cord down. Once we've done that, we grab the cap that we took off earlier. The two tabs there go into the two holes there. Lock it in. We're back in town. So far we've covered the auto feeding nylon line head for your bench sharp line trimmer. Now I'm going to show you Steel's new auto feeding head whereby you don't have to undo anything and have it uh, placed in your hand. And you do this by doing this. On the bottom of your knot, this nylon head, there are two arrows which you line up with each other. One on this side and one on this side here. From your packet of 2mm line, grab about 3 metres and leave it as one piece. Now all you do is put the line into one of the eyelets through here and put it straight through until it gets to the other side of the head like so. From here we pull it through until we find the halfway. which is roughly like so. Then, once we've done that, on the top of the head you'll see another two arrows, one there and one there, showing you which direction to load this head. Turn your head counterclockwise until the nylon line is to the edge of the guard, like so.
So who needs a push button reload when you've got Steel's new super auto feeding head? So now you know how to load your heads on your whipper snipper, there are other options out there. You can also buy preloaded spools whereby you don't have to reload your head, take your old one out and put the preloaded spool in. Or if you don't want to load the line at all, there are what they call poly cut heads where they don't use the line itself. They use these little poly blades which will do just the same job as your nylon line but you won't have to reload it. You just replace them as they're worn wearing out. You can buy replacement packs at Admon Machinery as well. Perhaps another frustration of your whipper snipping or maintaining your lawn is running out of nylon line itself. At Admon we have bulk buys as well where you can buy large spools of cord in both 2.4 or 2.7 contracting grade or your standard 15 metres width. So there you have it. You now have the tools to get out there and tackle your garden. But before I sign off, if you'd like to head over to our website admonmachinery.com.au and sign up to our mailing list where you will have access to VIP nights, VIP bundle deals, specials and much, much more. Till then, my name's Carlo and enjoy the great outdoors.